the Tenodyne T11 antenna assembled, pre-assembled, ready to put up. Twenty-four foot long. The back radio will be thirty-five foot long. And all the elements are all pre-assembled, ready to slip on. We have to tune this uh, back uh, shorting strap for 17 meter just prior to raising it on the tower into video. This is W0GEN and KZ0MBI is up on the tower right now. We're getting ready to raise this uh, this uh, Tenodyne T11 uh, log periodic beam. And Michael is up there on the very top. Wave, Michael! There he is. So we're dropping the two meter beam down. We're no longer going to use that one. And we're going to end up using the feed line for that two meter beam to feed a new uh, long wire that will handle our 40, 80, and 160 meter frequencies. And so the, con the plan is, is to drive this forklift into the tower, straddling the elements, and use the a gin pole and get the gin pole up on the tower and we have a pu bottom pulley at the bottom of the of the uh, tower here which the gin pole rope will go into that and it'll feed to the gator to the electric gator and we'll use that for raising the antenna so that's the plan this is 73's uh, more later W0GEN will be clear Okay, the tower, uh, the antenna is getting up there. We're slowly raising it up. Pulling it with a gator. This is W0GEN, and we are raising a Tenodyne T11 antenna on a Roan, I believe it's a BX tower, 56 foot, using a triple stage forklift just to help assist on the whole process. We have a gin pole up the top, thank you Jay, and then we've got a safety line coming down to Curtis. In K zero T, then we have a pulley at the bottom of the tower, right here, going up to the gin pole. And the pulley is being, the rope is being pulled through the pulley 
by a John Deere electric gator which is working out just great for this process. It's quiet, I can hear him holler, the, the man on the tower holler for with the instructions.